Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your bonus love reading for completely single cancers. How is everybody? Yes, we've had some interesting readings. Let's see where you're at here. So I have the two of water here. So this is about soulmate connections, all right? Who are you gonna meet next? Who's gonna give you that emotional fulfillment? So who is your next soulmate, your next connection? Ooh, you have a new beginning. Could be a Leo. Yeah, you definitely have somebody, somebody here. Oh, you gotta be careful. You have someone coming in that wants, this is someone who sometimes is a little immature or a little bit fast, a little flirty. It's not always exactly the same energy. Someone is coming towards you to start something. I feel it's very positive, friendly. Yeah, so we have that star energy. I see some Aquarius energy. Ooh, the sun and the stars. You could get something you want, but it's also being very careful. I feel as though there is somebody who's purging and releasing something here with that star. Make sure you hold yourself in high regard, you value yourself. I feel like you got someone here who's here for a good time, not a long time, but it could be they want to come in and start new, express themselves. Something's being exposed and illuminated. And I feel like there's someone who uh, you may have released and let go of cancer, okay? But this could be somebody coming towards you that's releasing this energy. Yes, look at that. So there's someone here who may, something may have been exposed Someone may have been dating other people. You could meet this person on social media, though. They could be reaching out on social media, a dating site, out in your community. Whatever you do, love yourself first. Make sure you're valued, okay? Yeah, just a little caution there. Yeah, so there's someone here who's coming to take control here. I feel like there's someone here who's trying to gain that strength and that confidence, okay? Someone lacks the confidence, too. Like, this is, could be a, a Leo, Cancer, or Aries, Sagittarius or Scorpio energy, very strong Leo, yeah? you got someone here who's here for a good time, not a long time, possibly, because I see this purging and releasing. You may release this person if they come in to start something. You may be waiting for something new, all right? You could be on a dating site or going out into your community. You're probably trying to be very strong and very brave, Cancer. If you have some Leo in your chart, okay? Definitely being strong and brave, very confident. But I feel like you got someone here who's not very confident. They may have tried to start something with you. They may have put their foot in their mouth, said the wrong thing. Okay. So they may be coming in to clear something up. And they're, they're releasing and purging this. It's quite possible it's their own energy. So yeah, I see someone here who feels some remorse and regret. Yeah, they weren't very confident. Someone definitely may not have... You know, you may have someone here who regret something that they did. They had a lack of strength, a lack of confidence. They may have put their foot in their mouth and they kind of regret it. It could be someone who feels a little embarrassed as well. So yeah, there you go. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you may have put your foot down. If you have any fire in your chart, possibly Leo, uh, Scorpio, Aries, Sag, you definitely could have put your foot down with this person and stood up to them. Uh, you probably, yeah, you probably have more confidence. Maybe you didn't have a lack of confidence with someone in the past until something was exposed. Maybe there was something you found out about this person. See a lot of scenarios, but it looks positive. Like, honestly, it does. It looks like you got someone who put their foot in their mouth. They kind of came to you with the wrong energy. And I feel like you kind of took that power back. <laughs> Cancer, when you, you've been coming up a lot like the Queen of Wands, and I remember this from a few weeks now, I've seen this energy, and that means you're, uh, you're gaining that strength and confidence. Maybe you're just getting out and meeting new people. It's giving you more confidence. People are finding you sexy and attractive. Okay, you may have someone who didn't have the confidence as you. They came towards you in that flirty way. Like I said, put their foot in their mouth. Well, they're going to purge and release that. Or you stood up to them and let them go. They weren't holding you in high regard. They came towards you maybe in the wrong way. Uh, I feel they have some kind of regret or there's some kind of embarrassment. But you're standing your ground. You're confident. You're strong. You're sexy. You're attractive. You're focusing on you. You want someone who's focused only on you. You don't want someone who's dating other people. Yeah, you definitely, I kind of feel like you took your power back somehow here. But I think it's because you're very strong, very sexy and attractive. This person, they need to purge and release something. They need to let go of something. Yeah, this is somebody who may have felt you were out of their league, okay, because you're like this. So watch that when you're meeting people, because I feel like you're single, you really, you carry yourself well, you look really good when you're out and about. I feel as though 
Yeah, you're very confident. And I feel like you probably get some attention. Yeah, if you haven't been, you're going to be. And I feel like you got someone here who wasn't. Someone who felt you were out of their league and they put their foot in their mouth. And you may feel like they're not. They're not on that same level as you. So it may take some strength to let this person go. Maybe you're going to regret it. I don't know. But I see, <laughs> I see that energy. I see some Virgo energy, Taurus, Capricorn, a little Earth energy, nothing major. This is probably yourself sticking to yourself, focused on your money. You have everything you need. Uh, it's kind of like uh like you'd like to meet someone you're getting out you want to go socialize but you're very confident in your own skin is what i feel um you're looking out for yourself you have plans in the future and you, it's sort of like you want somebody possibly you'd like to have a new beginning and but you don't need it you you want it but you don't need it you're in a very comfortable place so someone definitely yeah someone's trying to think about how to approach you you actually might have a choice between two people Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius energy I see here. So interesting enough. Yeah, you. someone has some regrets for something and I feel they need to release it. Somebody maybe came in here for a good time, not a long time kind of energy. Maybe you felt like you're just letting go of this person. Yeah, someone doesn't want to because they're coming around to express something. So if you got somebody coming in new, they could come in this way. Just be, really be strong, be confident, be brave. I think this person's not that confident. Yeah, I, feel, I think they feel like you're out of their league because look at you. You got everything. You look good. You're sexy, attractive. You're focused on yourself. You kind of have it all going on as far as what they see. So... <laughs> I think they have some regrets. Maybe the way they approached you this way. This is someone who chose that wrong path. But I, I feel like I feel like this person really likes you. So let's see what's happening. You probably know them. If you don't, this may be something that plays out. Tell me about the sun. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so there you go. Somebody who comes rushing in very fast. Yeah, you might have a couple of people. You might have someone, you know, that comes in that way. You got someone who wants to just rush in and rush out, but you're holding your, you know, your self-worth, you know, your value. Okay. This is someone who needs to learn to love themselves first as well. Now, tell me about the page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? Tell me about the page of wands. Somebody's coming rushing back around a little stronger this time, but I'd still be a little cautious if you've already met this person. Yeah, this is someone who's focused on themselves, focused on that passionate energy, kind of me, me, me. <laughs> They're focused on self. They do find you very sexy, attractive, and you likely do as well. Yeah, this person's definitely, yeah, you're definitely compatible. You like the way each other looks. So I feel this person's coming back in towards you. It could be the same person, or you could have two people with fire energy, because I feel like you, you definitely are confident okay there's that bravery that confidence somebody lacked it they regret not being more confident uh in the way they approached you so this is what i feel has happened okay and if it hasn't it likely is the way it's gonna go so yeah there's someone here who definitely wants to come back towards you they feel that you could be compatible uh they, they want to approach you they're coming back in a different way right they want to they're going to try a different approach so you may have people that approach you in that way as well. You may have s several people that are approaching you with similar energy. Very much focused on themselves, focused on that physical, that passionate energy. Uh, I feel as though you want something. You, yeah, there's something here that someone needs to let go of. I feel like you got this person coming around. They feel there's a compatibility. They want to cooperate and compromise. Um you could have one person here could be in a relationship already if you have two, so watch that. But this is about safety, security, stability, someone reliable. So I feel like there's someone here to come towards you, to get you to trust them. To um, They need to come back and, and be more reliable. They may, need to make you feel safe and secure. Okay, This person definitely needs to come in and be more stable. This is what you want too. I can feel that energy. You want someone who has your back. So somebody's coming back around yeah if you've already met them you're gonna know who this is if you have two people you've got somebody who's rushing in very quickly i do feel you got someone who 
definitely finding them attractive. There is, yeah, someone's manifesting a new beginning. Definitely. Gemini, Virgo energy. I feel you may have that in your chart, Cancer. One of your placements or it's the person around you. Feel, yeah, there's that earth is building. So I feel like there's someone who's manifesting a new beginning. They may reach out to you on social media. <laughs> Just be careful if there's someone here who may be a bit manipulative. And I think you got a choice of two. You got to make a decision. Someone has some remorse and regrets for something they did. And it was because of a lack of um, strength. Okay, somebody didn't have the, the strength. They... Yeah, they need to let go of that, be more stable. They need to show you they can be reliable. So you do have one person who's reliable, that's compatible, wants to get on the same page, and somebody who absolutely is not. They're all about themselves. Yeah, there's a choice between two. <laughs> yeah, you've got a couple people heading your way. You may have manifested these yourself. You have all the tools. You have everything you need. Okay, you're going out and meeting people, whether it's in your community, through work, through friends, through family, social media, whatever it is. Yeah, manifesting a choice in love. Somebody wants to come and manifest you, though, and I feel that. So, yeah, this we've got someone here. Yeah, you want the one. Somebody here sees you as just right, and you want to make the right choice. This is a decision as well with justice. Now, there is some balance here. Someone sees you as the one. They really do. And they're coming back around. They're coming in very fast. They may come in very sudden. Make sure they're, you're on the same page, right? Communicate with this person. I feel like you got someone who wants to have something stable. Yeah, someone's coming back to take that control back. They're coming in fast. Uh, you have somebody. I feel like you took the power, took your power back from someone here because they didn't come in right. They were focused on that passionate energy. Yeah, so it looks like you took off in another direction. You're leaving somebody behind here. <laughs> Interesting. Someone has some remorse and regrets too. They were probably fighting their feelings, emotions, trying to be in control. Uh, they didn't come in right. Someone didn't come towards you right. They put their foot in their mouth. They approached you in the wrong way. And I feel like you do get people who approach you in that way. I do feel like if you want people, this is another thing I'm seeing. If you want people to uh, come towards you, you may have this impression you just want to be single because you're very confident, you know, you carry yourself well, you kind of have everything you need. You always look really good. Someone sees you as always looking really good when they see you. And I feel like they approached you. You get a lot of people approaching you that way. That's the impression of what I'm seeing here. And you don't like that. You don't want that. You put your foot down, right? You take that control. Uh, you want to move forward successfully with somebody. So someone's coming back to take that power back. They want to make things right or they're going to try to come in the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. someone put their foot in their mouth. And I see that a lot with that card in readings where, especially when I see this energy, someone has a lot of regrets here and remorse. Yeah, they didn't see that two of cups. They weren't paying attention to the connection as well. They're probably embarrassed, uh, maybe even a little ashamed for whatever. They did something wrong, that's for sure. Their approach, the way they communicated, uh, very focused on that physical. I see a Gemini energy here, and I see a Libra, and I also see your energy, Cancer. You took your power back. Good for you. You're strong. You're confident. You're brave. Whew. Yeah, I see some communication coming in very fast, some talk back and forth. You may have a couple people. Yeah, somebody's trying to, they want to approach you. you got two people you're going to be talking back and forth with here. Look at that. Stay in your power. <laughs> yeah, definitely. you got one person who might be a little bit younger. One person is, yeah, the, I'm going to go back over that king of rods it could be one person with that energy coming back the second time but they're like this they still because there's something being exposed this person something is being exposed here so make sure you get you're you're very clear here about what you want and don't want i see two people i see a choice a path uh, how to approach someone some kind of a communication yeah, so there's definitely somebody here. Yeah, see, somebody here approached you wrong. They came in fiery, passionate, kind of out of the blue. They regret that. They regret something they said, the way they communicated. And I think you got two people who've done this, because I do see it right here where 
Yeah, you're just, you're single. You're looking out for you. You're sticking to yourself a lot. You're not really rushing out there. If somebody wants to come towards you, they want you, they have to come to you. That's what I feel. It's, you know, you've got all the tools because you have the power. You see, you took the power back. So someone's coming in. Definitely, it's there's a past person. Um, possibly both people or someone you met, but it's also, if it isn't that, it's also an energy of someone who's took the wrong approach. They didn't do and say sweet things, okay? Uh, they didn't go about things the right way. So you took off in another direction. And uh, I feel as though, too, like they want to talk, they want to communicate, uh, they want to approach this differently this time. They're going to try to come and take this power back. So, yeah, see, there's that balance. So somebody, you see that? So somebody's kind of pulled back. They're tempering their emotions, their passions. I feel you're going to be tempted possibly by both these people. So kind of pull back. There's someone here that's right for you and somebody who isn't right. Someone didn't approach you in a balanced manner. They weren't patient. They rushed in. Um, they communicated this passion. It's because they like you a lot, right? They find you sexy, attractive. They just want to, you know, get things going. But they need to temper that. They need to temper their passions, okay? They need to come in in a balanced manner. And they're seeing this. They need to be more sweet. They need to do sweet things for you. They need to approach you in a better way. So very interesting. It's not always reconciliation. For some of you, it will be, okay? Others, it's somebody you may have known a long time ago when you were young, okay? And maybe they approached you a long time ago that way and you kind of went, yeah, talk to the hand, <laughs> right? And they're coming back around. So, or it's two people. So tell me about this. Queen of Wands. Wow, you are in your power, Cancer. You got you are very powerful. You got a choice between two people. They're both gonna be tempting. You're gonna pull back and look at this. But someone's also, because of the way you stood up for yourself, you took your power back, someone's pulling back and they're seeing you differently. You know, it could be one you may just have one person from the past who's coming in to manifest a new beginning. They may see you as a manifester now, like this, but you, somebody here, they could be, I feel, like, uh, I feel like an electrician, somebody who builds things, somebody who is always on the move, always on the go, full of energy. Um, they may be your age, you're around your age, but they may have, they'd be very youthful. And I feel like this person's gonna reach out on social media. They are in your social circle or they're in your community. Okay, so that's interesting. So yeah, you're trusting your intuition here. You know, you know every, I think you know both these people. Yeah, or you're just going to trust your intuition. If one person's a past person and the other person's a new person, because this could be a new person coming in, but they could be coming in with a new energy, a little revitalized, still not 100% sure. But they need to temper their passion, temper their words, and the way they approach this. Okay, they need to come in with that balance. You know, they can't just be all passion. They have to do sweet things. They have to show more emotion. They got to do nice things. They got to earn that trust, okay, that sort of energy where they have to show you that they care. You may have someone who may offer to do that to tempt you. Uh, do you need something fixed? They have all the tools, right? Do you need something fixed? Do you need something done? You know, let me help you, right? This is how they're going to show you those sweet things. But you're going to be careful. You're aware of this, okay? You're tempted. But you're going to pull back and look. Yeah, see, there you are. Yeah, you got some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart, or this is your energy. You have everything you need. You're definitely planning for the future. Spirit's telling you to be prepared for this, all right, to this choice. Um, I think you are ready for something here, but you definitely... Um, are going to trust your intuition. If you do not feel comfortable with the way someone approaches you, you will not see a future with them, okay? You'll kind of look into the future. Uh, which person do I like or do I like any of them or, you know, that kind of thing. You're going to pull back. Someone is Someone here could be good for you and somebody could not be. That's that temperance, right? That good fit, finding someone who's a good fit. And there is one here that is. They could be a Gemini. I'm seeing some Gemini. Uh, you could even have three people, okay? You may have two people that come towards you like this, or this is this person, this page coming in, putting their foot in their mouth, being all about me, 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 just looking for passion, here for a good time. They want a one-night stand, and then they go off on another path. You're not, you're not comfortable with that. You want somebody who's on the same page, the same path as you. 
and then I see this person. This could be a new person coming in, but they're, you know, they still kind of, this is someone who's restless, always in a hurry. They come rushing in very quickly, but you may not feel comfortable with that person, but you could have someone else that you're manifesting if you're on a dating site or social media or they're manifesting you you could have more than some of you could have more than uh, two people but it could definitely be um, one or two so you are trusting your intuition you have definitely you know you you already know what you need to know about somebody here i see a pisces energy you're very intuitive right now you're in your power right now cancer Really hold on to that, okay? This is what Spirit's telling you. Be practical. Sit yourself down and ask yourself, is one of these people the one? Okay, how are they approaching you? If you don't see a future with them, you're going to go off on a new path because there is going to be other people. You're very confident, okay? You'll just go out and meet new people. So let's see what this is. Yeah, I right, let's see this Two of Wands. Two of Wands. What is this choice? This path? This decision here between two. Ooh, the truth. Yeah, I, I, you see success with one person. It's all in their approach, speaking the truth, being clear. Okay, this is somebody coming in win or lose. So, yeah, you might you may have one person. I, I do see possibly it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. could be a Virgo or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you definitely have everything you need. You're you're very secure in yourself. You're planning for the future. Spirit's telling you to plan and be prepared for this with this energy. You know, I feel like you know at least one of these people really, really well. So trust your intuition. If you don't feel right with someone and you don't feel comfortable, just pull back. Are they a good fit? Are they not? There is definitely some chemistry with someone here. There's a very strong connection with you and someone who is just right. Uh, there is a Libra energy as well. If you have Aries, Leo, or Sag, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart, there's definitely someone here that's a very good fit. Uh, somebody who balances you out, all right? This is two people who build each other up. They bring balance into each other's lives. So that I, I definitely feel there's one person. And uh, they may come in fast. They may be restless. They may be somebody who just wants to manifest. They want to get things going. But just a little caution. Be grounded. Make sure you get that truth. You're going to have some aha moments, but I feel win or lose, I see success for you. You will make the right choice. You're going to be very clever. You're going to be very wise using that wisdom, that knowledge that you've gained by becoming the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands knows what she wants, right? He or she, doesn't matter. You can flip it, but that's the energy of somebody who knows exactly what they want. And it's like talk to the hand. You either approach me in the right way. You speak the truth and, you know, we're going to have, a, there's a future here. Uh, or you'd rather just be single because I feel like if you haven't been if you've been having money trouble I don't see it but it's very possible money is going to start getting better too it's going to gain your confidence and that's why the queen of wands she focuses on herself her career her finances uh, she's brave she's strong and she doesn't give up right like that's that energy this is that queen's energy being very intuitive being very wise so I like it this is a really solid reading for you cancer yeah, whoever your person is, they uh, definitely win or lose. They want to come and talk to you, but you're going to make the right choice because you you are going to have to cut somebody out that approaches you. <laughs> you see that truth, right? You want a victory. You want somebody to make plans with, to do things with. You may just want a companion at first to make sure things are right. You might even try to date both people until you get that truth and you figure out. You might even go for both <laughs> yes yes i do see a reconciliation for one but this is your decision so i feel what you're going to do is you're going to just be practical and take your time you're going to just stay in single mode okay looking out for you you're going to sort of look into the future and as these people approach you you spend a little time win or lose uh, you're going to make a decision eventually and i do see that libra energy i feel like someone's got some libra because i see that down here and i also see that strong gemini so i feel they have some gemini and libra energy in their charts or they're coming towards you that way and that's some pretty fast moving energy okay so one is a little younger one of them's definitely used to focusing on themselves. I don't know if they're 
Yeah, so there is somebody here who wants to come in and put the work in. You have someone who doesn't want to put the work in and you're not going to feel comfortable with it. Uh, this could be somebody you worked with in the past too. That's interesting enough. Yeah, you're going to walk away from one person and towards someone else who, who's more financially stable. You're purging or releasing somebody or somebody else's and it could be just a behavior. Okay, because if you have an ex energy or somebody that came towards you quick and you just kind of walked away, they didn't put any effort, you may not have even had a date with this person, especially if you met them online or out at some event or somewhere in the past. Uh, they definitely are headed your way, but you want someone stable, someone you can rely on. So somebody is, there's, you're holding yourself in high regard. There's someone here who maybe, like I said, someone's put their foot in their mouth and you walked away. And I feel they're coming back with a new energy. Yeah, you want that new beginning, fresh new start. Somebody is seeing things different. They've kind of pulled back and they're seeing you differently as well because you put your foot down. You know what you want, Cancer. I feel like you are really going to do well, I feel, in love this year. Tell me about the two of water. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. That's this energy of, you know, planning for the future, focusing on your money. You want to have a future with somebody. If there is no future, then you'll make the decision to cut them out, right? That's that aha moment. But I think it's this person, win or lose, going to make that decision to come in and talk to you. Yeah. It's all about their approach. Yeah, there's a healing. Something is being released here as well. So tell me about the two of water. There we go. Yeah. So you got, yeah, look at that. You've got somebody who's a little slower moving. It could be the same person, but you have a choice. You have somebody who kind of has one foot in the door and out. They're not so sure till they connect. Um, and then you've got somebody here with some earth. Slow and steady wins the race. Someone a little more sincere. Uh, not necessarily very emotional, but this is somebody who will take the time to get to know you. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? And that could be your energy as well, Cancer. So you definitely have a water sign energy around you. I see some Sag. Uh, they may have Cancer in their chart as well because it is in the middle. But it could be the Pisces. You may have Pisces in your chart. They may have... Right. If you're if you are heavy water, maybe this is why it's here. It's telling you to ground yourself. Don't right. Find that emotional balance within yourself. OK, if you find that you have a tendency to get really emotional. But I see a choice between two and I feel like there's someone here who wants to come towards you. They want to get to know you. Uh, they're willing to go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. And then you got the person who's just coming in for some romance. I mean, they may come in this way and romance you. You may have a date. You may connect. And then slow and steady. So just watch that. If someone comes in really fast and fiery with one foot in the door, you go on a date, and then everything slows right down. So you got this choice. I think you're going to go. I would suggest you go for the water or the slow and steady. Unless you like things to move fast. If you've got... Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, you you may have, like you, I, I almost feel like you have an introverted side that you keep to yourself, and you have an extroverted side, okay? Uh, you've got this energy where when you're ready to go out and go out there, you go for it, and other times you stick to yourself a lot. You just kind of focus on your money. You feel comfortable at home doing your own thing. You're in no rush, I feel, um, at least until these energies move towards you. So it's a little bit of a push-pull. So tell me about this Ten of Water. Is Cancer going to get this emotional fulfillment? That's what you want, Cancer. You want that emotional fulfillment. You want someone who reciprocates, that's on the same page, that'll balance things out. You want someone who's similar to yourself. A little introverted energy, a little extroverted energy, and then there's that emotion. Wow. Someone's seeing you differently. I, I feel because you're conducting yourself different, you're valuing yourself, you're purging and releasing. I feel it's like if someone comes towards you and immediately they don't put the effort in, you just walk away. That's what I feel. You just kind of, ah, fine, there's someone else, I'll go, right? You want someone solid, someone you can rely on. And I feel like you want a companion first, okay? But there is that fresh new start. I think you have a new person here too, yeah. You've got somebody here who's thinking of taking the lead, they're soul searching, watching you they're contemplating their feelings their emotions somebody wants to open up to you i see an aries energy it doesn't have to be i also see this virgo energy uh, you could have a few people so just keep your boundaries up okay someone here definitely is coming in to take the lead you've got someone here who's contemplating 
uh, coming towards you. Someone's about to make a decision, win or lose. Okay, this emperor. Yeah, they want things to go in their favor. You got someone here who wants things to go in their favor. And uh, I think, oh, things are, yeah. You've got somebody here that's uh, as Aries energy. Somebody with Aries and Virgo energy or somebody with that Mars energy. It could be Scorpio as well. Definitely fiery. So this definitely is one of those readings where you can't really go on the zodiac signs. It's, this is definitely an energy read. So there is something coming in out of the blue. You're going to get a shock and a surprise. I think things are going to go in your favor. Someone's trying to figure out how to get things go in their favor. They're coming in to take the lead. They're just going to come in and go for it very suddenly. There's that truth. There's that decision. It's your decision as well. And uh, wow, you've got a few people coming towards you. Like I, I think you're just going to stay in single mode until you um, know you're going to have success with someone. That's what I feel your decision is going to be. If you have a lot of people coming in this year, like I feel like you're going to be getting out more, manifesting love, meeting new people. And I just kind of feel as though you're not going to rush into anything. You've got a lot of knights here. I don't see a lot of kings at this point, but I do see the emperor. Okay, I do see one emperor who knows. This is someone when they make up their mind, they know exactly what they're going to do. Bang. So expect a shock and a surprise. Uh, and it's a happy surprise with that emotional fulfillment. Someone here, if they are a past person and they came in in the wrong energy, approached you wrong, they're going to approach you completely differently. Uh, they've been doing some soul searching. Uh, they're kind of cluing in cancer. <laughs> Let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, it's your decision here. You're going to have some aha moments. I feel like, too, this person's, once they make that decision, and this is the new idea, the way to approach you, they're getting it, right? This is someone who's like, aha, I get it. This is what I have to do to approach cancer. I have to slow down, but I have to take the lead, right? They have to do sweet things. They have to show you. They got to make you feel comfortable and secure. They have... To let you know they have your back, that they want something solid, right? They got to be reliable. So just take a deep breath, all right? This is what I feel. You're just sort of grounding yourself. You're sort of sitting back. You're not getting yourself all emotional here. I don't see it. And if you have been, that's why this is here, okay? This is where you focus on yourself, trusting your intuition. You may know you've got people coming around you. Okay, so definitely you know everything you need to know about somebody. <laughs> yeah, you may not, you may not be, uh, if you have an emperor that has come towards you, someone very controlling, always wants things their way, you will end it with them and you'll go for it through and for another person. Okay, it's quite possible you have somebody with Aries uh, or Mars energy, could be a Scorpio. Uh, anyone really or Virgo and they come in and they don't approach you right you will make the decision to cut them out if it's someone who just wants everything their way because it could be this person coming towards you like this here for a good time not a long time it's all about me right they don't really put any effort in so you walk away but I think this person knows you walked away now they're coming in possibly like this so or you have several people because i do see these nights but this could be the energy this person's going through as well as they soul search and try to figure out how to approach you whoever they are they're crazy about you guaranteed and they are somebody who knows how to manifest okay but i think you've manifested if you've got lots of people coming in especially two or three you've manifested this because of this energy you have okay so that's your message from spirit is to be grounded and practical sit yourself down just stick to yourself a little bit and look into the future and see the truth uh, about how someone approaches you speak your truth as well okay so lovely i think you're going to get some truth the royal you yeah somebody really likes you hold yourself in high regard that's the empress energy right Somebody definitely values you. They do. And I feel like they probably approached you in the wrong way the first time. But there's things that need to be exposed and revealed. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep yourself grounded. Ask yourself who you see yourself with if there's more than one. Do you see yourself with this person? I see you cutting someone out and making a decision. It's a big one. 
Could be a reconciliation. It doesn't have to be, though. This is where you kind of reconcile with yourself by seeing the truth, right? So there's this being open to discovery. Yeah, so being open to discovery, getting to know someone, taking the time. Make sure they're taking the time to get to know you. They show you that they're reliable, stable, that they'll keep you safe and secure. They have their finances in order, right? And they're emotionally available, ready for a fresh new start. You've got someone from the past, I feel, and someone from the a new person as well. This is your new person. They are in that similar energy, a little bit more mature. And uh, they're, but they're coming in fast because they're, they want to, I feel, it's almost like I feel they want to hurry up and manifest this and reach out because they're afraid you're going to reconcile with someone or you're going to move on. Okay, I feel that too. It's like they're having this epiphany. They need to hurry up and take control before it's too late. So, but it'll be up to you. Yeah, I see the Grand Symphony. Somebody needs to open up. You need, there's also, if they don't open up, you can't discover things. And it's also about yourself opening up to discovery, learning about each other. All right, doing things right, that sincerity, taking it slow. Uh, I feel it's positive in the end. I do. You'll make the right choice because you're going to follow this energy of trusting your intuition. You know a lot. You've learned possibly the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, you can, it looks like you've been sticking to yourself a fair bit. So not for much longer, though. I, I don't think you're going to be single for much longer. I think you've got a future with someone here. One more for cancer. Wow, it's so impressive. Yes, yeah, shining through. Yeah, you've got a, you're raising your vibration, okay? So there is somebody here who's coming back in with a better vibration, okay? A better energy, and uh, they have all the tools they need. They kind of have learned through this energy. Like I feel like they came rushing in and out. Something was exposed. If it's one person, okay, and you've walked away. So they know now to come towards you. They have to have all the tools. They may have, you may have taught this person a lesson by walking away too. Uh, they weren't stable, weren't reliable. You purged and released them. Uh, they weren't valuing you, but they need to learn to value themselves as well. So there is this change. Yeah, someone's coming around, but you may change your mind about them. Uh, this is up to you to make that decision which way you go. Uh, just let things evolve, okay, is what I think you're going to do. You're just going to kind of keep in single mode and just sort of see what happens with this person to see how it evolves, to see where it goes. So, yeah, the land between. So you're kind of going to be stuck between two people making a decision. I feel most of you have two. Uh, but this is where you sit yourself down there and you don't make any decision until you're sure which direction to go. See, that's that choice, that decision. Two ways, there's possibly two ways to see one person. You may be seeing them from different points of view, okay, as well. One more for cancer. There we go. Yeah, so this is that willing release. So definitely you're going to let go of somebody willingly, I feel. But it could be a person coming towards you that needs to release something as well. I think you got someone who felt you were out of their league. Okay, for some reason they had some kind of fear or something here. Yeah, so interesting enough. So I'm just going to do that willing release. I'm curious. I have this in another reading too. Why is the willing release here? What's being released? Who's being released? For cancer. Could be just releasing some old relationship baggage, yeah. So you're, yeah, there's someone here you don't see a future with. There's a lack of clarity and communication. So I feel like you're going to be focused on someone else. Whoever it is that does sweet things and does nice things for you. Whoever approaches you in that way, that sweet way, it's simple. It's keeping things light. It's like, um... It's innocent, okay? That's the thing. That's what you want. That simple, that easy, that relaxed kind of energy. Uh, you got someone here who may have manipulated you that's coming around, and I don't. there's a lack of clarity, so you're going to let them go. You're definitely going to be cutting one person out, and uh, you could reconcile with someone else, yeah? Purging and releasing somebody, loving yourself first, valuing yourself first, releasing all old relationship baggage, yeah, there's a transformation. There's that Mars energy, that Scorpio energy. Something is done with somebody. And it could be you have two people and you make a decision between two because that bridge, that land in between, right? And you finally make a decision. And I do feel there is no future with someone because a lack of clarity. Uh, you can't see a future with them, but there is someone that you do. You just need for this person to come towards you in the right way. So, wow. So I see a transformation in your love life. 
Uh, things moving forward. You may be changing how you feel about somebody too from the past because they approach you different. I see a lot of talk, a lot of communication, taking it slow and steady. I see a happy surprise of some sort, things going in your favor. If they don't, with one person and they come back in, right, and they try to take control and they want everything their way, it, it's done. It'll be finished. So tell me about this transformation. There we go. Where is this going to lead? Where is this transformation going to lead? There we go body and soul yeah so there is definitely that body and soul energy that's a healing and purging see this dragonfly things are going in your favor you want that it's a soulmate energy too yeah so the divine matrix this could go any place where you want it to go it's up for you to decide so it is kind of out in the open so just watch the people that come around there is someone here you can trust that's reliable that wants to put the effort in that wants to get on the same page they want to build something beautiful uh, it's a choice between two and it's up to you to decide which is the one I don't think you're going to have trouble with it I don't see a lot of obstacles in figuring out it's just a process where you may stop and pause and try to visual yourself who's the person that uh, you'll be the happy with who's the person that'll give you the emotional fulfillment okay so it could be the emperor but it could be the emperor that you end things with it depends on that emperor if they're positive or negative kind of energy so take care wish you the best and bye for now